Today we present a hand-assisted laparoscopic right colon mobilization for continent cutaneous ileal cecoplasty. Standardly, to achieve attention-free ileocolic anastomosis during this procedure, the right colon must be mobilized past the hepatic flexure via an extended laparotomy. We introduce a hand-assisted laparoscopic right colon mobilization through a fan and steel incision to reduce morbidity. Our patient is a 28-year-old female with a high-pressure neurogenic bladder, causing mild renal insufficiency secondary to cerebral palsy. Her BMI is only 15.6, however, this procedure is still applicable to much larger patients. A 10-12 to mm camera port is placed through the umbilicus, later to become the stoma location. An additional 5 mm working port is placed one hand-breadth cephalad to the umbilicus. We begin with a 10 cm fan and steel incision. In this case, we began with an open mobilization of the cecum along the line of tolt. Even in an ideal patient with a BMI of only 15, open mobilization along the line of tolt is difficult. In fact, open mobilization can be difficult even through a midline incision unless it's extended up to the xiphoid. Note the anastomosis is tight unless the hepaticolic flexure is taken down. We now standardly begin in the supine position for port placement and laparoscopic mobilization of the right colon. Note the new length gained from the laparoscopic mobilization. The final ileocolic anastomosis is now tension free. The cecum is then detubularized with the bovi. Note the difficulty in passing the straight catheter through the native ileal limb. The ileal limb is then tapered over a 14 French straight catheter.
Freehand stitches are applied to taper the most proximal end near the ileocecal valve. Note now the improved efficiency of the catheterization. The bladder is then bivalved in an anterior to posterior fashion. Here you can see we orient the bladder augment for its final positioning. The augment is then applied with deep interrupted sutures and more lateral running sutures. Finally, the continent tapered ileal channel is brought to the umbilicus through the previous camera port. There, the stoma is matured. This technique has been applied to 20 patients at our institution with an average OR time of only four hours. Only one case has been aborted on a patient with a BMI of 60, as it was found before the bowel harvest that the tight mesentery would preclude attention-free anastomosis despite laparoscopic mobilization.